In our last video, we identified the two main divisions of the Bible. Now it's time to take a closer look at each of them in more detail. In this lesson, we'll examine an overview of the Old Testament. First, we need to clarify the term Old Testament to eliminate any confusion you might experience when discussing the Bible. The term Old Testament can be used in two ways. The first of these is as a descriptive term referring to the 39 books of Hebrew origin known collectively as the Old Testament. A second use of the term is as a reference to the Law of Moses. The Law, consisting of the Ten Commandments, as well as a number of statutes and ordinances, can be referred to as the Old Testament in a proper sense. The Law of Moses is also referred to as the Old Law, the Old Covenant, the Law, and the Old Testament. Each of these terms is correct, but can be confusing for those not familiar with the Scriptures. In these lessons, I'll refer to the Law of Moses as the Law and the 39 books of Hebrew origin as the Old Testament. In a later video, we'll talk about the time period governed by the Law, since this extends beyond the 39 books ending with Malachi. To help organize a study of the Old Testament, we can divide the books into groups. There are four main groups, and these are law, history, poetry or wisdom literature, and prophecy. These categories are only a tool to assist in understanding the predominant themes in each of the groups. While the name identifies the primary focus of the group, it doesn't limit the content to a particular type. For example, books of law also contain history, poetic language, and prophecy. Poetic books may relate histories, contain prophetic elements, and discuss points of law. The books of prophecy and history incorporate each of these elements as well. Let's take a closer look at the groups. The books of law. There are five books in this group and are also referred to as the Pentateuch, a word derived from the Greek word for five. These are attributed to Moses as the originator and so are also known as the books of Moses. In order, these are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The books of history. There are 12 of these books written by various writers, including Samuel, Ezra, and Nehemiah. These books cover the time period from the death of Moses to the return from the Babylonian exile. There is some degree of overlap in the time periods of these books, which we'll clarify in a later video. These books are Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. The books of poetry or wisdom literature. There are five books in this group. They are referred to as the books of poetry due to the literary forms used to express the ideas in the books. Based on the content of the writings, they are also referred to as the wisdom literature although some writers reserve this term specifically for the writings of Solomon. There are multiple authors who contributed to these books, including Moses, David, and Solomon, as well as others. These books are Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. The Books of Prophecy There are 17 books in this group which can be divided into two smaller groups. These subgroups are the Major Prophets and the Minor Prophets. The terms major and minor refer to the length of the writings, not their relative importance. The minor prophets' writings are shorter in length than the major prophets with one exception. The Book of Lamentations, written by the prophet Jeremiah, is shorter than Hosea, but is grouped with the major prophets as an extension of Jeremiah's previous writing. Let's take a look at both of these groups. The major prophets. There are five of these books, which in order are Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations or the Lamentations of Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. The Minor Prophets. There are 12 of these books Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. These groups not only identify themes in each of the books, but they'll also help clarify a sense of time establish context, it will aid in memorizing the order of the books. In our next video, we'll take a closer look at the books of law.